The Guam Resource Recovery Partners have written to the U.S. Justice Department on Monday to request an investigation of potential violations of the Clean Water Act by the Lazing Landfill. GRRP states leachate, a type of liquid pollutant generated in landfills, goes to the Inneron Wastewater Treatment Plant and then discharges into the ocean. However, it claims solid waste receiver Gershman, Brakner, and Branton must have a National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System permit to discharge anything into Guam's waters and has known about this since tests were done in September 2010. They also refer to a test with a food dye that was done in 2010 that shows a direct hydrological connection between the treatment plant's percolation beds and the Pacific Ocean. GRRP argues GBB has no such permit and is in violation of federal law. GBB Vice President Chase Anderson says GRRP never approached them with their claim about the Ladsing Landfill leachate. He says it's hard to understand what they're trying to say about needing a special NPDES permit, but notes GRRP is not correct. There is no illegal discharge. They feel it goes directly into the ocean, but my understanding of that plant is that the pipe does not go directly into the ocean and therefore it does not need an NPDES uh, permit. Anderson also says they are complying with all rules and regulations and continue to work closely with Guam Water Works Authority and other environmental agencies. We work very closely with Guam Water Authority and we also work closely with both uh, environmental protection agencies, U.S. EPA as well as Guam EPA, uh, to try and make sure that this leachate is handled uh, appropriately. Uh, the court wants us to collect the leachate at the Lejeune landfill and then provide, put it into a sewer system, uh, which we helped finance, and uh, send it to the treatment facility, and that is what's being done. Furthermore, he goes on to say the Ladsing landfill has a double-lined and leachate collection system that is constantly monitored to prevent cross-contamination of stormwater and leachate. We check the stormwater as well as we check the leachate just to make sure that they're not being you know, cross-contaminated, and we handle the leachate uh, as the way EPA wants us to handle it. GWA spokeswoman Heidi Ballendorf also backs up GBB, saying they are fully permitted, work very well with the agency, and go above and beyond of what's required of them. They also improve the Inarahan plant. They have all the required permits. They've been great customers of GWA and have been in compliance since coming online with, with the proposed landfill and all of the work that had to be done. I think everyone in the community is aware of all the work. So they've been um, fully cooperating with us, and I'd say they're one of our better um, non-residential clients that we have. Ballendorf adds Guam EPA already did tests 11 times greater than what the Inarahan plant was designed for and that GWA and GBB's testing started long before the landfill opened last year. It was tested even before they started. So we did a lot, a lot of trial tests before we started last year. We've been accepting the leachate since September of last year, so uh, it's about a year now. Okay. And and uh, there there hasn't been any issues. Earlier today, Tammy Jo Anderson Taft told PNC she couldn't comment on the matter because Guam EPA hasn't seen any complaint filed and they are going through an appeal process with GRRP's permit application to build a rival landfill in the Atentano area of Santa Rita. We really can't comment further given that we are um, going through an, the administrative process with GRRP uh, with their appeal. In the meantime, GBB will continue monitoring and testing through private contracts contractors for the next 12 months, but Ballendorf and Anderson say the facts are there, and if there are any future problems, it will be fixed. But the facts that we have before us show all permits, everything has been in compliance on the part of GBB, and there isn't any um, leakage into the groundwater system. Our job for the court is to handle this material responsibly. We want, at the end of this receivership, to be able to hand over the solid waste system uh, that works, you know, whether it's picking the trash up at the curb, or whether it's handling recyclables, or whether it's disposing of the material, or handling the leachates. Josh Dikenko, PNC News.